maybe something uh, some of you have already seen, which is still about uh, goal trees. Uh, we have a goal, we have several critical success factors, we try to limit them three to, three to five if possible, we have the necessary conditions. And uh, at one moment, getting more familiar with the goal tree, I thought, wouldn't it be valuable to have a three color system? Because when we have the goal tree, as we know from the, the, the lessons of Bill, it's a kind of benchmark, but it's also uh, where we are going to go. But talking about benchmark, I thought, well, this could be fine to have a color system, which means turn green every condition which is steadily achieved, we do not have to care about because we consistently master it, okay? Get it orange as soon as you have not constantly or you have uh, too much variation to, to be claimed as mastered, okay? And have it red if it's uh, missing or totally uh, not controlled. And the rule I finally uh, proposed is the upper condition is only of the color of the worst of the underneath, mm -hmm. which means you have a mm -hmm. red, can only be red. Have an orange, can only be orange. Everything is green, turns to green. And from this, when you start, usually, you have more autumn colors, because when you are called in as a consultant, it's to f help to fix problems. And so if you do color your tree, you will have more autumnly color than spring color, okay? Mm -hmm. And your task as a consultant is to help green up the green, uh, green up the tree. And what I found interesting, it's a very visual prioritizing tool, and you freeze it because it's the, the first snapshot of what happens when you start, okay? And mm -hmm. what is red, obviously, is the first priority. Second priority, orange. And green, well, you don't have to care, except you should not degrade it anymore. Mm -hmm. And each time I propose this, everybody is, oh, wow, good idea, let's do it. Mm -hmm. But I never succeed to do it. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Well, probably because I never managed to get a full, really full uh, gold tree done, mm -hmm. with the exception of uh, the, the case I mentioned. What I did... Uh, achieve to do is to have people vote with some colored stickers to get consensus about the state of the entities mm -hmm. but not really what I wanted to do as a colorful um, goal tree. Still I have it in mind, still I would like to have a complete achievement of this uh, system to test I it. should point out to you that the concept of the colors is good uh, and I've never considered doing it this way. I have seen colors work with that kind of a hierarchy. If there are multiple measures or components in a, in a sub-area, then your, your major area cannot be any higher than the worst of those. Um, you might look into the concept of what they call radar charts, if you've never seen mm -hmm. radar chart. I like this because this is more management oriented. The manager can look at it and say, I see what needs to be done. The important thing to remember is, just because it's red, doesn't mean it's more important to the outcome than anything else. It just means that this is where we're hurting right now, and so the attention needs to go here. But it's no more important than the green one is mm -hmm. in, in terms of its influence and the outcome. It's just that if we're managing by exception, we don't worry so much about the green one. We worry more about the red. But, isn't, uh, isn't this already the first step for the current reality tree? You mean uh, putting the colors? Yeah. <laughs> I because never saw it like that, but... What uh, exists and what does not exist. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're I, right. I never realized it, but uh, yeah, thank you for... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Mm. That's true. And the fact is that if you don't have time to do a full current reality tree, this is a pretty good thing to do if you need a quick hit. And this is the value of exchanging in the other Exactly. <laughs> that's why we all showed up here today uh, to do all of this. That's great.